Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this little series, we're continuing our Earth to Mars mission. This is kind of our take two. The first time I went out to Mars in the first series, things didn't go super great. So at the very least, I'm hoping to improve things in this series. With all that said, let's go ahead and switch to the over, uh, to the big view, unpause the simulation, and pick up right where we left off. So in the last video, we got up into uh, our initial orbit, but currently uh, we're not going to stay in orbit. And the number one priority when I get into orbit is that I want to stay there because it doesn't do me any good to get all the way up here if I'm just going to crash. So let me just rotate the vessel just the other way for a moment because I can see that relative inclination is creeping up ever so slightly, but I think it's more or less irrelevant now. So the most important thing, or the next thing I want to do, is just warp time forward to get up to the high point of the orbit where I will circularize, or at the very least I want to get like above 120, 130 kilometers, something like that. Okay, so just continuing to warp time forward here. All right, we're up pretty high now, so we can take care of a couple things. So we still have uh, several minutes until we're going to get to the high point, so before we worry about circularization. I want to look at burn time calculator. And according to burn time calculator, and if I include my RCS, I have uh, 7.2 uh, kilometers of delta V. Now, let's switch over to this view. Let's turn on the APU with control A, I'm trying to just get familiar with the keyboard shortcuts again. Uh, radiator is alt R, so let's open the radiator. And that brought up, also apparently that's a hotkey for something else. Um, Alright, so I have to remember that. So actually let me undo that and then just click on the radiator. There we go. Because I, I don't want to have extra information up on the screen. So I have to, maybe I'll make a note that I don't want to use that keyboard shortcut. Because apparently my NVIDIA driver has that also. All right, so the radiator's open. Now what I want to do, and again, keeping this number in mind, you know, 7.196. I want to go to the upper panel, go to the payload camera, and I actually have to pause, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm just resuming, hopefully, right where I left off. I've never actually used the pause video with uh, this software before, so hopefully it worked. Uh, but returning back to the flight, let me unpause the simulation. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of that extra, uh, this one here. So we need to open the pay the bay doors. So we'll do that. A little bit of time warp to speed that up. A little bit more. A little bit more. And so we have uh, the crew habitat module. We have the locks here, and then we have the fuel. So the fuel is in three. So let me see, how do you do these again? This is actually something I don't remember. Um, how to get rid of this. So I'm gonna click on it and there's gotta be like a release mechanism here somewhere. Deploy, there we go. So I clicked on three and I'm going to translation. switch over to translation so I can start translating away when, it, when, it get, when we get rid of it, but I'm gonna hit deploy. There we go, I got the right one. Now before I do anything else, I just want to take a quick look at Burn Time Calculator. So it looks like that gained us, um, not a hundred, let's see, what was the number before seven point, uh, I don't remember, but it, 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 at any rate it gained us at least a little bit of Delta V. I'll have to watch the playback to remember what the, what the two numbers were. Okay, so going back to the payload camera and um, I don't quite know where that module's at. We can use the, so there it is. So I think we can go ahead and close up the doors now. So let's close them back up. A little bit of time warp to speed up that animation. And now we can turn the APU back off. So that got rid of, um, you know, some, some dead weight that it would just, uh, cut into cut into our overall Delta V. So the next thing to do, I want to 
go ahead and circularize our orbit. So we'll take care of that at apoapsis. Let's warp time forward to get to that point. And just for fun, let's take a look at the outside and watch our module float away from us. Now, since the module is not going to be part of the orbital circular circularization, it means, of course, that the orbital path of that module is approximately uh, really close to what our orbital path is right now. So that module will go around to, you know, approximately here, hit the atmosphere and incinerate. So we're not just leaving space junk. Okay, let's uh, get a bit closer to the time to do the burn. And we can help out the autopilot Rotation. if I rotate. Let's go a bit uh, that way and that way. And then just a little bit of time warp. Come out of time warp. Let me kill rotation. Let me put in just a touch of control 8 and a full, con and a full burst of 1. That way, when we're getting close to time to do the burn, we can turn on the autopilot and we'll be more in position. And coming back out of time warp, a little bit more in this direction, and time warp. It's just a little trick, or a little bit of uh, efficiency type of thing, so that you don't have to get... Because usually, like in the Absolute Beginner Guide, I would say, you know, when you're at 100 seconds, come out of time warp and use the prograde autopilot and I would always say that because sometimes you know you might be spun around completely in um, some oddball direction and you need all that time just to get in the position you want to be in so let's go here and circularize and that burn is going to be about four and a half seconds go ahead and time warp to get closer to that point And coming up on the burn in three, two, one, and burning. Okay, that's the burn complete. Let's look at our orbit. We're pretty solid there. All right, so let's, uh, I think for the remainder of this video, we're going to take care of changing our transex escape plan over to a maneuver. So let me go forward on this side. Let me think for a second. No, let me go back on that side. Let me view over to the escape plan. And on this side, I want to view over to the maneuver. I'm going to turn maneuver mode on. And we're going to go through our variables here. And the only one that we really should have to worry about is prograde. And we're going to enter in the number that we're given here. So enter 3633E, no, not E3 on this one, um, just enter. And then we're going to switch over to our date. And since we're only going forward, you know, just a few minutes, we don't want a course setting or anything. So we're going to go backwards to uh, Ultra. And that'll get us most of the way there. And then we'll adjust down to Hyper and then Micro. So now we have, so now we have our time to the burn lined up according to what our escape plan was. Although technically it's not exactly the same because our escape plan is set up for, I think, tomorrow. But we launched a day early just to make sure that we would have time to do everything we needed to do. All right, now we need to get rid of the escape plan. So we'll go through the variables on this side and... Um, I always have to think about this. All right, let me think. I have to go forward. That's right. Um, the the muscle memory is not quite there yet. So we have to be in stage two on this side. Go to the eject plan, and we need to zero out our variables. The only one we have to worry about is prograde. So I'm just going to go backwards to reset and reset that. Um, re reset the eject plan, which effectively deletes it. And now we can go forward on this side, although we don't have the closest approach showing. So for now, I'm going to go back on this side just so I can see my closest approach. And we're going to uh, just finesse our maneuver ever so slightly until we get our closest approach down to some reasonably low number. And I guess I'll start doing that just with date. So, okay, by adding in just, you know, uh, 
seconds here we're you know we're basically at Mars so all we have to do is just change the date just ever so slightly um, it still shows us missing you know coming in in a hundred uh, in a bunch of kilometers away from Mars so let's go ahead and use a bit of prograde at a very fine setting though maybe maybe we'll start with super and we'll just see what happens if I add in a bit more so that's taking me further out maybe and okay yeah if I take out a little bit of the prograde you can see that's really bringing that altitude down it looks like we're gonna miss it but but what I'll do you know the whole like overshoot overshoot thing we'll do that so I'm gonna go in this direction for a bit until so it looked like it bottomed out there around 26. So I'm going to take this out to 35 and 30, 35, 36. And then we're going to, let's always update every time we pass that. And then with the date, we should be able to get the rest of it. So by adding in date, it's making things worse. So I'll take some date out. That is incredibly sensitive. I need like a nano setting. Dimitri. <laughs> um, but more or less, we're there. So... We, I'll just go ahead and with the prograde go down to an even finer setting and uh, let's go ahead and overshoot just ever so slightly in that direction update and nano or micro boy that's sensitive and I don't yeah let's uh, we'll probably we'll probably just take what we have here because yeah, with the settings being this sensitive it tells me that all we're talking about is just like micro bursts but uh let's see what we can do with prograde just to just to get in a little closer and now we're down to five something five five maybe we'll hit four yeah we'll, we'll take whatever we have here and then deal with everything else with uh so we're all the way down to two something now down to one eight yeah we'll take it so we'll go we'll just go with that There we go. Okay, so now we have a, a maneuver that will take us to Mars. So let's, uh, what else do we need to do? I think that's about it. So let's view over to the target. So the burn is about 1,607 seconds away. Let's, I'm gonna do a, a control S because I wanna save right here at this point before I do the burn. And that just in case, you know, I need to, I, I used to have a good habit of saving at various milestones through my, uh, through my missions. I'm, I've kind of gotten out of that habit. So I'm trying to get into that habit again. So let's bring up burn time calculator over here. And we will, I always like to switch this to manual start just because I like to see zero here instead of some other number that's counting up or down. And now we will get the maneuver from TransX. And let's warp time forward till we get closer to the time to do the burn. And bef um, actually, I probably shouldn't have got the maneuver yet. I think I can just re-get it. Because what I'm thinking is I might try to do a small refinement on the maneuver when we're just a little bit closer to the time. So let's go down to 600 seconds. Right about here. Come back out of time warp. And just briefly, I just want to view over to the... Um, let me just quickly check burn time calculator one more time. Okay, so we still have 10 minutes. 10 minutes of real time. So let me bring up TransX. Let me go, uh, let me view to the maneuver. Let's look at the, let's just hit an update. And nothing significantly changed. So, all right, I'm not even going to worry about it. But I always, I always just think that, you know, when you're in tight to a body like Earth or Mercury or whatever, I just feel like the, the plan is just... I feel like the universe, the variables of the universe are constantly changing, and they are, but it just it's not changing as much as I thought, so we won't worry about it. So burn time. And let's view over to target. Let's get our... Maybe I should have gone backwards. Yes. Auto center. All right, let's get the maneuver one more time since I did an update. Hopefully that reread. 
and let's warp time forward to get out to about, you know, maybe a hundred seconds before the burn, and then we'll turn on auto center. We're at 10x, we'll get a little bit closer, maybe 60 seconds, and close enough. I don't want to get too close to the burn and then miss my opportunity to auto center. All right, and we're at 10x, we're just going to warp time forward through the burn. And remember, burn time calculator will not complete the entirety of the burn. Uh, that's, that's, that's considered a feature, it's not a bug. And when we get close to engine cutoff, I'll go back to real time. So two, one, and real time. So just a few more seconds left on that burn. All right, then we want to immediately turn off auto center, immediately go to view, maneuver, and immediately go to maneuver mode and turn that off, bring transex up on this side. And first of all, I'll back up just a little bit so I can see the closest approach here, although I have that information over here, I think. No, I guess I don't. A little bit of main engine, just a control thrust, just to put in those last few meters per second that burn time calculator didn't do for us. And now we'll go forward on this side so we can actually see you know, more of what's going on. See our minimum altitude coming down. And we had it down to one point something. I don't care if I get exactly back to that point. Translation. And now we'll just translate the last little bit. And that's Mars. And we're, we're really in tight now. Okay, so... Um, so, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and switch to the overlay. Let me actually do a control S, just another save, because this is kind of another milestone. And pause, switch to the overlay. So we took care of our, you know, our last little bit of orbital stuff that we needed to do, and we took care of our Mars burn. So I'm just gonna leave it paused right here in this video. And when we come back, we'll take care of the, uh, probably everything all the way out to Mars, I'm guessing, certainly a mid-course correction, most likely. And uh, we'll, we'll see how far we can get in the next video. So with all that said, if you like this part, please do hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video.